Rodney Walker, and this is the event we're calling uh, Sermons at the Mount. Sermons at the Mount. We're drawing that from the Bible, where in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus had the sermons on our Sermon on the Mount. And what we're doing is we're talking about issues in Hampton Roads that we need to be concerned about. As, Je as followers of Jesus, we need to be concerned about and share that with our brethren in our churches. Uh, the theme of today is called the Hedge Around Hampton Roads. And that goes back to, we're referring back to the book of Job, where God had put a hedge of protection around Job. And God, as Satan says to God, uh, if you lift that hedge of protection, he'll curse you to your face. And so these are things that we've been thinking about. And the issues concerning Hampton Roads, such as human trafficking, gang violence, the disintegration of the family. These are things that we want God to put a hedge of protection around us to prevent. We see the times, we look at the news, we see uh, every other week there's another murder in some city in Hampton Roads, a gang-related violence. And so we can't rely on what the government, even though the government is, is trying to do all it can do, it's really up to us. Because the Bible says that the followers of Jesus are salt of the earth. He says, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. What does that mean? Those are the things we're going to be talking about today. Exactly. Well, we don't have an organization per se. We are part of the body of Christ. And this is why we, uh, we don't want to, 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 to raise up an organization. We want to encourage brethren who are involved in leadership in their churches to take these messages back to their church and talk about them with their youth ministry, to, to perform outreaches, to, to be committed to their local body and serving the Lord and leading. And so, we're not a particular denomination. This is not a gathering of any denomination or any organization. It's a call from, from, a call from, from different churches around Hampton Roads, men who are in leadership positions. It's a call out to hear common concerns and to go back with common resolution. Well, we, we see in the Bible that whenever God does something, first he starts, he starts with his sons, he starts with the men. Uh, when Jesus called the 12 disciples, okay, he called them those 12 and they were to go out. Uh, and so there's implications for women and children and the like, but we start with leadership, we start with the head, the head of the home, according to scripture, is the man. And so it's his responsibility to, to cast this vision for his family and to share it with the church. Claim the blood of Jesus over me and my household and my community. Lord, you've made us salt and light. Fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, with your presence. And help us to be the men you created us to be. Uh, my name is Scott Davis. I'm the uh, uh, assistant pastor at Foundry United Methodist Church on Virginia Beach Boulevard. Uh, Rodney contacted me, in fact we had him over to our home at one time and he, had, he told me he was uh, planning this, that the Lord had put this on his heart and he asked me if I and some uh, folks from my church, some men from my church would come and support it and I said yeah, sounds like a great thing and here we are praising God and learning how to uh, put a hedge around Hampton Roads, a hedge of prayer to protect the people of Hampton Roads. All right. Hi, I'm Dr. James Boyd, pastor, associate pastor at Calvary Chapel of Virginia Beach. This event gave the chance for men of God to come together and really begin to talk about where the problems are, from the family to gang activity to all the things that stand in the way of what we're able to do. 
Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads has many issues. We're not going to solve them all, but we find that God has a purpose for it. He strengthens us. He provides for us. He makes us move forward. This event is the first step for all of us to get together and to start to make a difference. So as we do this again next year, I invite you all to come out, not just to come see, but to come be a part of changing Hampton Roads through the Word of God. The gang problem is major because people don't realize it's there. It's a problem because people say, it doesn't happen in my neighborhood until the police cars show up. Then suddenly they want someone to do something it's not neighborhood watches that are going to make a difference. It's when we begin to teach our children, when we begin to give them love, when we send our daughters out in such a way that they're ready for the world. That's when the gangs are of no effect. We have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Uh...